Hello my loves, welcome back to another video. My name is Amy if you're brand new to this channel. For today's video, I wanted to do my very first luxury unboxings of 2020. I'm gonna start off with a couple of items that I got from Julia. So Julia is a premium artisan jewelry company. I discovered them last year. They make beautiful, beautiful jewelry. Most of them are sterling silver. I would say that they, they are pretty much fine jewelry. Um, but a lot of their sterling silver pieces are also gold plated so it really depends on what you choose and they make their own in-house stones so I'm gonna unbox these two pieces of jewelry that they have kindly sent to me this is not a sponsor video but I truly truly love their pieces in fact I'm wearing one of them here this is a ring that I custom made uh, it is sterling, solid sterling silver and uh, plated in rose gold. I also customize all the stones and uh, the colors of the stones as well as the color of the ring. I'm also wearing another ring here on my other hand. So this ring here on my index finger is a sterling silver ring. It's just a really dainty sort of stackable ring uh, as you can see it's completely adjustable anyway enough rambling let's start off with the bigger box so this is the first item look at the box it's velvet lined uh, even the box the packaging is all top notch and i got another tennis bracelet what I really love about these tennis bracelets uh, is that it comes in this beautiful bolo chain so I am wearing it right now at the smallest setting and as you can see it even fits my tiny little wrist um, so as you can tell it will fit pretty much any size wrist so there you go this is the emerald cut uh, tennis bracelet and it's completely adjustable as you can see there's all this much to adjust to your arm I'm wearing their cocktail ring that I had from them before and with the new bracelet which is a lot more substantial than my other one so this is my other one uh, I can also put a side by side so as you can see it's a really really blinged up look perfect for when you have those big occasions I'm also gonna wear my other one the princess cut one just so that you can have a visual they're both super stunning um, you really can't go wrong with either I feel like I could probably stack them too. I can also lend it to my mom because I know that um, this bigger size emerald cut one would go super well on her uh, because she has th uh, thicker wrists and she has bigger bones than me so I feel like it would look so so good on her. On to the second box and it is a pair of beautiful earrings so these earrings are actually kind of a matching set to this they both are made of emerald set stones so as you can see there's emerald cut emerald cut here they look just like diamonds but like i said these are julia stones so they have their own in-house stones and the way they make them just shines like a diamond it's so 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 pretty and of course it goes super well with the whole set i even love wearing it with my um antsy necklace so this is a solitaire white sapphire i believe and it's also sterling silver and it's um rhodium plated so it won't tarnish let's move on to one of the chanel items as you can see i have here the holiday packaging so this item i actually did buy it end of last year so in december of 2019 so i feel like asia europe as well as the united states they tend to get stuff a little bit earlier than we do we usually are a little bit slower than everybody else uh, so including the packaging so these holiday packaging we only got it around christmas so it's it's really late and i know that um but that's the reason why and it's just a small item <laughs> it's just a small box but i didn't get that bigger bag um so let's go ahead and unbox it i really love this camellia i really didn't want to miss out on this camellia and these beautiful ribbons only just because i don't know why i just feel like these camellias are so well made like the fabric that they use is so much more substantial and i feel like the camellia alone i can just add a pin to it and then i can wear it right I mean, look at it it's so fun I was even thinking of making like a DIY something with these let me know what ideas that you have I was thinking either like a, like a belt or like um, I don't know what else can I do with this there's so many things I can do with this maybe like a headband so I can buy a headband and then put 
uh, this on top of the headbands. Nothing big, just starting a little bit slow for the first unboxing of the year. Of course, it comes with all the little booklets and documentation. And judging from this, you can probably tell that it's a piece of SLGs. And um, you guys know I'm not big on SLG, but when I saw this, I was really attracted to it. And then I think you guys will understand why. So here you have it. It's a little card holder. This is the So Black card holder in the Gabrielle line. So it's the Gabrielle So Black card holder. And it has so one slip pocket on the front. Uh, one in the middle so the main compartment as well as two on the back and as you can see the bottom is just like the Gabrielle bottom just like the Gabrielle bag and I love that the hardware is a shiny ruthenium distress calf skin here on top and then the bottom I feel like it's just a smooth calf skin and it is uh, a 29 series and then also this item was made in Italy. So the inside is just lined in a black nylon fabric. But yeah, that's my little SLG that I got. This was part of the 2020 cruise collection. Here is the last item from Chanel. This I officially got in 2020. I got it literally um, two days ago and um, obviously no more Christmas packaging, they were all gone by then. Here's the proof of purchase. Um, I have the proof of purchase for the card holder too. Uh, it's just that I already stowed it away. But the card holder was 460 Canadian dollars plus tax, if I remember correctly, which I thought was very reasonable because a lot of the um, Chanel pricing, I don't want to say that they're inconsistent but it's just that sometimes their items are really overpriced and sometimes they're more decently priced so I thought that this was one of the more decently priced item um, for a card holder nowadays so that's why I got it plus it was a you know a so black line which usually they are a little bit more pricey so in this box I actually haven't seen it yet because I literally bought it two days ago and the little booklet again and judging from the size, you can probably tell what it is or what kind of things it is. And it is a pair of Chanel earrings. The reason why I went with these earrings is because of the size. They are very, very large. These are probably my largest studs that I own um, in the regular CC um, design. And I just love these because they are very sparkly. There's lots of different size stones on it. And uh, they are actually a very light champagne gold. But because it's so sparkly, you can even wear silver with it. You can't even tell that it's silver or gold from this. These are just from the classic line. So if you guys are interested, I'll of course have the... Um, style code down below so that if you want to get a hold of these I think these are stunning this is a very very light champagne gold but you can almost not can't tell from the color right it really is a champagne gold it's very very beautiful it almost has like a 3d sort of curve um, it's very very stunning it feels very substantial here's a size reference to um, these earrings as well as these as you can see this is really white like the stones on this is really white so you can tell a little bit more that this is a little um, a little bit more champagne gold it's not quite silver but without it you can not tell that it's silver right uh, i mean you can tell that it's a, it's a gold tone color but it is definitely a gold tone color so there you have it side by side they look stunning both of them are stunning but these are definitely a little bit more statement they are stunning i love them uh like i said they are the classic line i'll link them down below not the actual earrings but the style code just so that if you're interested these were 595 canadian dollars plus tax so it's a around $600 plus tax um, and I, I think that they're stunning. They are pricey but they are still in the more sort of more or less decent price range for Chanel honestly because nowadays Chanel earrings can be 
upwards of a thousand or more and they they're getting really pricey i have a few pairs that are upwards of those that kind of price range and it's ridiculous so that's it for this video it's just unboxing of little bits and pieces here and there um and of course i wanted to show you the beautiful holiday packaging and all these beautiful pieces from julia i highly recommend them these tennis bracelets i tend to wear a lot i i wear them on a daily basis so this will be a beautiful addition in fact i might i don't know i feel like my mom would really like this so i feel like um this is something that i can possibly pass on to her as well when she comes visit um, but yeah, it's so beautiful. I highly recommend these. I think that if anything from Julia, if if there's anything that they make the best, in my opinion, are these beautiful bracelets because they just are stunning. They're neutral. They're really good for everyday wear and they go super well with any wedding set. If you have a wedding set, they just really complement the whole look. And even if you layer them with other things such as a watch, plus they are really well priced. Uh, I mean, the costume jewelries cost more than these fine jewelries. So, um, in in a way, I feel like this is better bang for your buck. Especially if you were to get anything from Julia, I feel like get a tennis bracelet. They are just stunning, beautiful, top notch. Anyway, I will have everything linked down below like I said. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you're brand new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Give me a like, comment down below, say hi. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed my first unboxing of 2020 and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!